you are watching our 123 sonographycom video. We provide innovative teaching materials on echocardiography. Please visit us at www.123sonography.com to see more. How do we actually measure the size of the aorta? I think it's, it should be an integral part of every exam. And to really get a good measurement, we have to modify the classical parasternal long axis view. This would be the normal long axis view. Uh, if you look at the aorta here, you would probably assume that it is normal. However, if you move the transducer up one intercostal space, all of a sudden you will see that we do see much more of the aorta. We see the cranial portions of the aorta. Yeah. We see the cranial portions of the aorta, and if we measure the aorta, I would recommend the following positions, always at the uh, vicinity where it is the largest, so 40, 41. Then I would measure it at the caudal portion of the ascending aorta, at the uh, sinotubular junction at the aortic root and also at the insertion of the aortic valve. So by doing these measurements you have completely described the size of the aorta and also the shape of the aorta.